Settling the shoulder blade is essential for shooting military weight bows, as well as for comfortably shooting bows of lighter draw weights. If you hunch your shoulder blade, then that's going to direct the force of the bow up away from the body, and that's going to cause a lot of stress on the rotator cuff muscles here. Yeah, you might be able to get away with it in the short term, but in the long term, it's going to mess you up. Now, the advice I'm going to give for selling the shoulder blade is something that I've gleaned from studying Gao Ying's Ming Dynasty military manual, uh, examining the forms of other military heavy draw weight cultures, uh, traditional cultures that is, um, from studying the anatomy of archery, you know, what are the joint articulations involved in settling the shoulder blade, as well as just from direct experience shooting really heavy bows. Now I'll explain the steps. The first step, now let's imagine the target is in this direction, is going to be depressing the bow side shoulder blade. Depressing is lowering it to as low as possible point. What you can look for is that, you know, at the end of your collarbone, there's this little nub here. Try to keep that in the same place and then just lift your arm into position, preferably with a slight upward slope. Because what will happen is that as the bow exerts its force on your arm, that's going to press that shoulder blade down and it's going to reinforce that position. The second step is pretty important, which is retracting and revolving that shoulder blade down and towards your spine. Show that again. Retracting and revolving it down towards your spine. Some people think that you have to reach out to the target in order to settle it. But that creates instability because that's going to disconnect the shoulder blade from the rest of the body. Now technically, the shoulder blade is only attached to the rest of the body through you know, a bunch of muscles connecting it. But you, know, you want the shoulder blade to be closer to your ribs rather than farther away. So if you're trying to reach out like this, that creates an instability. And with heavier draw weights, that's going to create the tendency for hunching to happen once you have a lot of force coming in. So reaching out is a mistake. Let me show you again from this angle. Here, if I'm reaching out, I'm actually protracting or spreading out the shoulder blade away from the body. And so the force of the bow is going to be going to the midline of the body. That's pretty unstable. Instead, you want to retract the shoulder blade. So technically, you see that? That shoulder blade is going towards the rear of my body here. And not only that, it creates a little bit of a slight, you know, triangular space naturally. That will give you a little space between the bowstring and the arm. Okay. So that's step two. Again, step one, depressing the shoulder blade. Step two, retracting and revolving it towards your spine. Now the last step is rotating the elbow medially inward. Technically this is a glenohumeral or a shoulder humerus articulation, but the end effect is that you'll see it moving your elbow. This is medial rotation of the elbow here. See that? That brings the point of the elbow pointing to the side. As opposed to lateral rotation, which is bringing that point of the elbow pointing down. This is actually a weaker position here because the muscles involved in rotating this here do not help with the scapular depression, retraction, and downward rotation. Now some people think that if you will medially rotate the elbow, that's going to cause you to hunch your shoulder like this. And that's a red herring. What happens is those people are um, confusing the motions of hunching and medial rotation of the elbow. Like, look, look, look at it this way. This is medial rotation of the elbow, right? This is medial rotation of the elbow. This is also medial rotation of the elbow. Yeah, I didn't have to move this thing at all here, right? Didn't have to go like, eh, you know. And imagine someone doing this. Oh, I'm rotating my elbow like that. that that's just awkward. And it's, it's um, you know, super stiff. Like I, would, I would get a massage here and get someone to loosen that up. But you can move these independently, right? Settling the shoulder, depressing the scapula, retracting it towards the spine, and then medially rotating the elbow.
So that's the third step, medially rotating the elbow to lock it in. Why, is step, why are steps one, two, and three um, important? Well, I mean, obviously steps one and two get the shoulder in a position to receive the force so that when you receive the force, it goes straight into the rib cage. And step three, medially rotating the elbow, kind of locks things in, reinforcing the motion here. See that? And the reason is because those three articulations use compatible muscles, right? Um, depressing the scapula involves the lats, a little bit of pecs as well. Retracting and revolving the scapula towards the spine involves the lats, a little bit of the pecs, and the rhomboids. Right? And you're going to do this anyway, because when you're pulling a bow, you know, you're using back tension, which is basically squeezing the shoulder blades together towards the spine. You know, if you're not doing that in archery, then you know, something's wrong. And then finally, the medial rotation of the elbow actually involves, guess what, the lats and a little bit of the pecs as well. So all those three articulations reinforce each other. Now I'm going to apply this advice to shooting a 118 pound bow. Now as you prepare for this, you can do it step by step, just so you can feel, you know, what are the three articulations involved. For example, you can either depress the shoulder blade, retract it, and then immediately rotate the elbow to lock things in, or you can do it um, in a different order where you immediately rotate the elbow first, and then you depress the scapula, and then you retract it down towards your spine on this side. So here, rotating the elbow medially, depressing the shoulder blade, retracting it towards the spine. See that last part? Rotating the elbow immediately, depressing the shoulder blade, retracting it towards the spine. And that's how you make shooting heavy bows feasible and moderate and lighter bows comfortable. I'll demonstrate the technique with left-handed shooting so you can see what settling the shoulder looks like from the other side. This bow is uh, 107 pounds at my draw length. So from here, immediately rotating the elbow, depressing the shoulder blade, retracting it in towards my spine. 